Hello everyone and welcome to another Merch by Amazon Public School video. Uh, I appreciate you guys being here and uh, today I would like to talk about uh, AMS. It seems like a lot of people are struggling uh, with uh, understanding how to run successful AMS uh, campaign ads. And uh, let's uh, let, let's try to uh, to help you guys. Uh, so basically uh, this is what my dashboard looks like. Uh, I was running a uh, great uh, great campaign up to uh, December I was uh, I was averaging uh, five I mean in December I've averaged about five six percent uh, a cost and uh, you can see I spent uh, I spent two hundred and eighty nine dollars to make uh, four point three grand or almost four point four and uh, and you notice that my a cost was this this my sales are in blue and my a cost and uh, my spend is in uh, orange you can see that uh, it started out uh, good it's not this is not bad this is about a uh, uh, an 11 percent a cost so uh, uh, as uh, as the months went by my uh, my a cost got better you can see in November it got better the sales line surpassed the uh, spend line and then in December a it, it was uh, it was really great uh, January it started to slow down so I'm starting with this just to give you guys a little understanding of uh, what's uh, going on with my uh, with my chart here so in January it started to slow down and there is reasons why it started to slow down so uh, I uh, I wanted to try out uh, new things and uh, I mean uh, this channel might be a public school but life is a private school and every lesson costs money so I tried out uh, different things, and uh, this is the part, the price I paid for them. Uh, uh, you guys can see uh, it drove uh, my A cost way up the roof. Uh, I figured, you know what? Maybe uh, one month is not enough to uh, test it. Let's try a little further. And uh, uh, March was the uh, same thing. So uh, now I reverted from that. I learned the hard way. So, uh, not to uh, change what was working. I mean, I was trying to improve it. I, I don't regret spending this money. That's okay. But, uh, like I said, life is not a public school. Life is a private school. And every lesson will cost you some money. So, for me, this lesson cost me uh, $377 plus $354. So about uh, 730 bucks or so. But that's okay. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't 100% waste because I still got... Uh, I still got about uh, 40 4500 dollars in sales so that should uh, 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 help a little bit I mean th this was not a loss I mean to, to make to, to make this straight this actually uh, was campaigns that like uh, 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 barely broke even or just made uh, a little profit but this is my strategy that was working for me I uh, and uh, I changed it. Now I'm going to revert back to it. And I'm not saying that I would not go back again and try new things in the future, but I would. And this guy is the reason why a lot of people don't like to talk about AMS in the groups because they all talk to you about anything else. But when it comes to AMS, when they see themselves spending this money to figure out things and learn new things, they're not willing to just give it to you for free. Uh, plus, the thing with AMS is that uh, chances are you're going to be the next guy competing with his ad and uh, trying to... Uh, beat his uh his bid so uh so people are like really uh scared when it, uh, it comes to that uh a lot of people don't even share uh, things about merch and uh, that has to do with organic traffic so now when we're talking ams we're talking paid traffic but uh let's disregard that and uh and uh move on to uh, how to run a successful ad in my opinion uh, uh i would go to I mean this is how you would start you would go to create a new campaign and uh, from this window you will uh, get to uh, choose what type of uh, campaign you will uh, uh, run next uh, sorry my uh, uh, Firefox is uh, running pretty slow uh, okay so when you get to this window then you would pick uh, sponsored ads okay you're not gonna do sponsored brands you're not you don't have a registered brand and uh, even if you're gonna put three shirts together under the same name brand and put them together uh, 
don't do this unless you know exactly what you're doing. Okay, I mean, I'm not telling you not to do. You do whatever you want. It's your money. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you maybe you inherited a million dollars and uh, you gotta finish it by Friday. Uh, so I said you will go to sponsored products and you hit continue. Uh, and sponsored sponsored products. That's for, that's the uh, the ads that uh, you see sometimes on the top line of the results. I'm not taking. I'm not talking about the banner. The, those three or, sh or one shirt that you see on the top banner I'm talking about the shirts and the actual results and here it will ask you if you want automatic or manual targeting uh, a lot of people will tell you to use automatic and others will tell you to use uh, to use uh, uh, manual well here there is uh, I mean n n n neither side is wrong uh, there is different ways of doing it uh, some people would say okay I'm gonna run manual targeting and uh, I'm gonna figure out. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna choose exactly what keywords I'm going to bid for. Uh, there is nothing wrong with that uh, attitude, but in order to do that, I will tell you that uh, you can't have a uh, 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 half uh, finished uh, job. If you do this, you really gotta do your homework, and you gotta come up with a good list of related keywords. You cannot stuff your keywords because this is gonna work against you. You don't want uh, if you don't if you have a cat shirt. You don't want uh, keywords about football and stuff. You don't want your shirt showing up everywhere because you're gonna get a bunch of cu what I call uh, curious clicks, uh, people that that are looking for a football shirt and they just see your cat shirt pop up and they just think it's cute or funny or whatever. They click on it just to get a closer look and uh, see what it looks like and then they leave, and uh, it costs you money, and. So you don't want to do that. Plus, uh, Amazon doesn't want you to do that either. Amazon doesn't want you to uh, advertise your shirt where it doesn't belong. So uh, uh, in order to run a manual uh, campaign, I said you have to come up with a long list of uh, uh, related keywords. And another thing you want to do is you want to try to uh, find the... Uh, you know what? I'm going to move on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this point to the, to, until I open up that... Until I get to that point until I get to that page uh, that way I can explain better what I'm what I want to talk about so now about automatic targeting automatic targeting is a uh, is a good way to uh, uh, do a uh, uh, a campaign because uh, sorry I got distracted by a cell uh, when when you're doing automatic targeting you don't have to worry about all that Amazon will just use your keywords in your listing to match you up with uh, with the uh, searchers so anytime uh, anytime the algorithm believes that your sh your shirt is relevant then it doesn't put it in front of the customer but it puts it in the auction where if it wins the bid it's gonna go in front of the customer and the customer gets a chance to click on it when the customer sees your shirt in the results that's called an impression so that that's the impression your shirt was was put in front of the customer now you don't pay for the impression but you pay for the click if the customer actually out of all the results on on amazon he decides to click on your shirt then that's a click okay so uh here i'll give you again guys a little advice having large designs easy to read and easy to understand will save you money on this step because you will save some money and people are going to click on your shirt just so they can read it because it looks too small on the thumbnail for example a t-shirt that says the best dads are and then some very fine text underneath and it just gets people curious they want to click on they want to see what the heck are the best dads and then they click on it they read the stupid phrase underneath that and then they just ha put on a smile and they move back okay and uh, that costs you 25 cents or 30 cents or whatever you were bidding for that uh, for that auction uh, so uh, you want to have large designs so it will save you on uh, on the clicks and uh, one, once you run the automatic campaign this is a good way of doing it after after like running it for a week I would go back and uh, download the report and then I would see what how were how were all the keywords performing if if some keywords were getting clicks but were not getting uh, uh, I mean, let's start. If keywords were getting impressions, but they were not getting clicks, the number one suspect would be the design. Maybe the design is not good enough, okay? Because this this shirt has been put in front of the customer, but the customers are not clicking. Now, if the if the shirt is getting 
clicks but are not getting sales sometimes because the design is too small and people are clicking on it, on it clicking on it just to get a better look at it and then once they do they just uh, uh, feed their curiosity and leave okay or uh, a lot of people would just click on, on, on the shirt and leave but that's okay because once they click on your shirt Amazon will keep retargeting them for free they will keep sending them emails about that shirt they clicked on they will keep uh, uh, they, they will keep bugging them about 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 that item in, 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 in every way possible they keep putting it in front of them in the search even if they're searching for something else and once they get that once they get once once they once you get that sale uh, and you would notice this sometimes you would see that you had a sale without a click and when this happened this is why because somebody clicked on that ad two weeks ago and he didn't buy but Amazon kept uh, kept reminding him hey you like this I'm telling you you still like it you want it you want it so bad so here is your chance here's another chance until that person buys the shirt okay so I said once you get the report you see what keywords were performing the best for you whatever is performing the best is the stuff that is getting the most clicks I mean the most sales based on the clicks and uh, and the and the impressions so you select those keywords and now you can take that shirt and put an automatic campaign and you know what keywords are valuable to you and what keywords are getting you the sales and you run it in a, on a, on a manual campaign with those uh, keywords but now here let's select a manual campaign and see what it uh, see what it looks like so you you come here and you type in the ASIN of the shirt okay and uh, and uh, you type in the ASIN of the shirt, but here's what I suggest guys when you run a campaign don't put in one shirt Okay, uh, uh, this is my opinion. Uh, there is different schools, but but believe me uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not talking out of uh, my uh, Question mark exclamation point whatever stuff you guys know uh, You don't know what's gonna perform we design some really great designs and they don't sell we design some crappy designs and they sell uh, the best way to do it in my opinion is if you're gonna run, a, run an ad let's say for example you run an ad for for Father's Day for uh, Easter I wouldn't say do Easter now Easter is too close make sure your ads are just like I say about designing shirts make sure you're you come in to the market with your ads way soon because the, the clicks are cheaper and the competition is less uh, brutal once the the holiday or the trend comes close people start uh, start uh, bidding some crazy amounts and you cannot make profit then uh, with the campaign plus you want to rank your shirt early so you can get some organic uh, sales so I said like uh, let's say you're making designs for Father's Day or designs for 4th of July and uh, you designed or your designer sent you like uh, 50 designs or 30 designs or 20 designs take those designs all of them take every ASIN and add it here you keep adding and you click your brand not my name of course unless uh, uh, you want me to pay for you no it's not gonna happen even if you try uh, so you click uh, you click all Amazon products right here and then you enter the ASIN over here and then once you get it you're gonna get a little add button here you just click add and it's gonna be added to the list click add on the bottom here yet so just wait until you add all your ASINs and then add them and this way you're gonna have like I don't know 20 30 40 shirts in one campaign and you're gonna see which are performing the best and then once you see which ones are performing the best and which one starts ranking and getting the sales then you take those shirts and you put and you put them on a uh, a uh, 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 I'm sorry uh, if you were doing manual then you would take if you were doing automatic you then you would take those shirts and put them on the manual campaign if that was if that wasn't the case and your campaign you were running for example a a uh, 15 cents 20 cents campaign and you and you saw your better performers then what do you and with a very low a cost then I would take those shirts and put them on a different campaign with a higher bid than the rest I would leave the rest in this campaign but I would take those shirts and create a new manual uh, targeting campaign and select the keywords that were performing the best for me based on the on the report and I would run them on, uh, on a different uh, manual campaign and maybe I put up a little higher bid I'm not gonna go crazy maybe if I was doing 15 or 20 cents I would jump into like uh, 30 or 35 cents and I'll see and I'll see how they're doing and I keep watching them you gotta keep watching your ads guys you cannot uh, you cannot believe that uh, you're just uh, what was working yesterday is gonna keep working today because sometimes out of the blue the campaigns will just start eating up money uh, it, there is a lot to say about AMS I'll try to make another video guys about it but for now I'll ask you to please uh, uh, like the video to let me know that uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, helping you with my content and uh, subscribe so you can get uh, uh, a chance to watch other videos when I post them.